Hi guys and welcome to another Working with Styrene. So in this episode I want to show you um, the basics of working with styrene tubes. So um, <clears throat> this covers sort of cutting and, and getting angles and, and, and such and a few tips I've learned for cutting the thicker uh, tubes as well because they can be a bit of a nightmare. Um, so let's crack on. Here we go. So these are the, the things I'm going to be showing you today. We'll start off showing you uh, some of the techniques for cutting styrene with a blade. A hobby knife, if you will. So <clears throat> you've got your styrene tube. It can be a bit tricky. The thinner stuff, admittedly, is much easier to work with. You simply just chop and it flies off and um, this is one of the uh, things that really likes to ping off across the room so if you can try and use the same technique as you use when cutting um, bits of rod and put your finger on the other side of the blade and just press down and there you go now you probably won't be able to get a very flat edge on that as you see I haven't there so you need to be very careful when cutting these things and really mindful of the angle of the uh, the hobby knife to make sure that you get edges edges completely flat. Now, <clears throat> if you try and do the same thing with the thicker stuff, all you're going to end up doing is squashing it, which can be a bit of a nightmare. Um, now, if you're working with, um, a, if you're looking to chop off a, a quite large bit of styrene, one of the things I've learned that you can do is simply put your blade on the uh, on the tube and roll it, and you're trying to get straight a line as possible because what you're then looking to do is you find it and then you snap it and again that flies across the room and depending on how straight you got your uh, your line it will actually snap really cleanly I mean that's a nice clean uh, cut now <clears throat> if you're looking to get a thin piece of course you can't do that because the closer you work towards the end there uh, uh, you, you just haven't got the purchase to get the snap what I find is, or what I have found in working with this, is if you just apply a little bit of pressure and try and roll it, so you've got, I've got things in the way, <laughs> I've got my hand here rolling the piece like that at the same time as I'm applying a little bit of pressure with the hobby knife and going backwards and forwards. And what you'll find is after a couple of times doing this, what you should find, if your blade is sharp enough, is that eventually See that there? It just cuts, it just digs in and starts cutting through. Um, that bit there is not very straight because of the uh, the previous cut I'd done it, done on it. As you can see there, it's fairly straight, there's some cleanup needed. Um, <clears throat> so that's how basically you'd cut styrene tube with a knife. Now, if you've got a guillotine like this here, it can make things a bit interesting. So let's say you're building an exhaust system, for example, and you needed a certain angle on the cut. If you've got one of these doodaddies here, you've got the ability to set the angle over here. And as long as I've set that to 45 degrees, degrees, which I believe I have, you can basically just feed that through and give it a chop. And what you'll have is two pieces with 45 degrees to go together at a right angle. So it's a really easy way of making sure you're getting precision cuts at precision angles really easily. Now one thing you can't do is cut the thicker pieces with that. So I'm just going to go and give it a go on, on camera just to see how it works out. So I haven't uh, tested this all that much. Of course you can remove this bit here to uh, to have longer pieces on either side. So let's have a see what happens if I do this. There we go. And of course it pinged across the floor, as always. Now, this hasn't worked too badly, actually. It's a little bit squashed, but not too much. And of course, if you put the two pieces together, like that, you've got a lovely 90 degree angle. So, I mean, this might actually be the better route to go, even with, if you're working with the thicker parts. Though I would expect if you were to take it close to the edge, let's give that a go, and uh, cut that straight, to use this side instead. What I'm expecting to see here, 
is that it will actually crush the uh, the tube as it cuts. There we go. So it's not great for cutting the uh, the thicker stuff because as you saw there, it sort of broke, snapped, and cut it in two pieces, and you end up with a fairly messy, now squished end of a tube. So that's not really advisable. So for cutting the thicker stuff, I would certainly advise uh, using a hobby knife and using the rolling technique that I went through earlier in this video. Um, that's it really, there's not much else to uh, explain in terms of cutting styrene tube. Of course, if you have any techniques that you use yourself or tips, then uh, put them down in the comments. I'm very keen to hear them. Um, I'm always willing to go back and do revisions of these videos um, with any new techniques that people tell me. There's been some real corkers uh, in the comments of my previous videos. So that'll be uh, good to go back and do those. Right, so if you uh, like the video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to see more of this series and the other videos I'm working on, then please uh, subscribe. That would be fantastic. Right, nothing left to say other than thank you for watching. Have a good time, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.